Hi, welcome to my support video where I will show you how to retrieve information from the registry using an administrative defined field. We're going to do this with a collection data form, a CDF. Okay, so the information we're looking for today, I've selected this registry key, hive key local machine, hardware description, system, system BIOS date. Now this information we would like to see in a report. So I'm going to show you how to do this with an ADF. So let's go to the setcc, to configuration, and to the asset inventory. So here we will click on the administrator defined field workstation to retrieve workstation information from the device. So I've already created one, so let's look in there to see how it looks like. Just a basic entry, nothing special. So let's delete this one and recreate it so we can see what it looks like when we create one. So we're going to create new, give it a name, and I'm going to leave the default value blank because we want to retrieve this value instead of setting a default one. As a data type, there are several options which you can use as a value. For example, the Antigua, the decimal, or the date value. So we're pressing next, finish, and that's it. So now we want to go back to configuration. I go back to the inventory settings to include the administrative defined field into a collection data form. When we open the collection data form options, we can see two options already selected here, show in Sunworks icon menu and invisible mode. Now I'm gonna tell you more about the Sunworks icon menu later, but now I wanna talk about the invisible mode as the plan is to automatically collect this information and autofill this into the collection data form. So we're going to scroll down and that's where we will find our administrator defined field which we will set and configure to retrieve the required data. And by setting the proper registry key, we tell the CDF where to find the needed information. So after setting the proper registry key, we press apply and OK. We want to make sure that the collection data form is included into the inventory scan. So we open the inventory settings and we select launch collection data form so that we are sure that the collected information is included in the inventory scan. So for this example, we're leaving the inventory schedule right here at device refresh. So for the collection data form, it's also possible to run the schedule separately from the inventory schedule. In this example, we want them to run at the same time so I'm going to leave it at default. Okay, so now that we have everything set in SetCC, let's get back to the workstation. We need the workstation to retrieve all these settings we've just set in the SetCC so it knows what to do. All right, let's close the registry editor and let's start the command prompt. Okay, let's give it a quick refresh. So all the settings we've just configured will come down to the agent and will be available to the device. Okay, well, while it's refreshing, remember that setting in the collection data form to show itself in the Z icon menu. So after the refresh, if we right click the Z icon, it should show up. 
And basically, this is just another way of manually launching the collection data form. So after the refresh, I will show you that the CDF option has been added to the Zenworks icon menu. And I'm going to show you another way of manually launching the CDF. All right, so now that the refresh is finished, let's have a quick look at the Zenworks icon. Let's right click and see if the option is here. Here we go. All right, so we've configured the CDF to launch during the event of a refresh, but let's start it manually. We're doing this by running the inventory set command with the CDF option. Basically, this is the equivalent of selecting the added CDF menu option. Or when you just let it run according to the configured collection data form schedule. Okay, so now that the CDF scan is finished, let's get back to the set to see and see if we can find the information that we are looking for. So the goal was to get the information from the registry into the inventory so that we could report on it. Let's see how that worked out. So in CCC, I created a simple inventory custom report, which will report on the machine name and the required registry information. So here we can see the machine name and the configured registry ADF. So let's close this and you can edit it, of course, to your very own wishes. But you know what? Let's just close this, delete it and recreate it so you can see what it looks like. All right, so we're clicking new. We'll give it a name. I've already done it, so I've already got a name here. Just select it, give it a name, leave everything by default. And right here, the machine name is already selected. So now we need to look for the ADF we've configured in set to see. So we've got to scroll down to the bottom and there we are. We just add it to the list, save it. And that's it. So when we run the report, we can see the registry information collected by the CDF. And if we click on the machine name, we see the full inventory report where we can also see the information collected by the CDF. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing more how-to videos, please subscribe to our channel.